Hello everyone, this is Toyo from Hokago Car Time, and we're finally at the end of Zazan week. Today, as of the date of recording, is 22nd of May 2020, which means Premium Collection is officially unleashed into the world. And with it, so is the card Zazan. Now, today's video is gonna be a bit different because we're not doing a deck profile. Instead, I think I wanna talk about the real problem with Zazan. So yeah, for all the joys we had, for all the broken stuff that we talked about, I think there's one more thing about Zazan that not a lot of people are making noise about that I think is way bigger than anything else about Zazan. So yeah, we all know Zazan. This card enables a lot of degenerate stuff, there is no counterplay, it just creates a really unfun competitive environment, and pretty much everyone is in unison. But for me personally, I think there's a way bigger problem with Zazan that goes deeper than just beyond that. So for that, I want you guys to take a look at these four deck profiles that we have chronicled over the last four days. As you can tell, most of them are, all of them are different clans and they're all from different archetypes, but the deck lists share a pretty striking similarity, and that is all these vanillas. Every deck is pretty much just being boiled down to four Zazan and then like 10, 20 some kind of high number of vanillas because that's pretty much the best way to play the deck and i think that's the real problem with zazan it's not that it enables degenerate stuff because well we've lived through more degenerate stuff before well maybe not more degenerate but we've lived through equally degenerate stuff before and of course they were called for bands but never as loud as this one i think the biggest difference here is that back then well if you didn't want to play the most broken deck you can try to counter it with a different clan, a different deck maybe, and it usually works, but with Zazan, this is the big thing. If you're not playing a Zazan deck, you're immediately at the disadvantage, so that means the best counterplay to a Zazan deck is to play another Zazan deck, and that's a big problem, because as much as we don't really talk about it, a big appeal of Vanguard is clan identity. A lot of people got into the game because of a favorite clan, because they like a clan's aesthetics, a clan's playstyle, and they really do enjoy that clan, like me included. I'm a huge fan of Angel Feathers and Dark Irregulars personally, and Zazan pretty much takes away that identity and it replaces it with vanillas and aggro and whatever. Just this stupid little blue thing, we're pretty much being forced to include it in our decks, and that takes away one of the best parts of the game, which is being able to take a deck, a clan that represents you, and play the cards in that clan which supports the playstyle that you love. Instead, it's just being replaced with this little blue ball and his army of vanillas that doesn't really do anything. Like, you can just replace this vanillas with pretty much cards of any other clan and it'll do the same trick. Which is, you know, that's not a good thing. Because we want our decks to be different, to be diverse, we want our decks to be different. We don't want to play the same 12 vanillas and 4 zazans every round in a tournament. That's not fun. And even outside of a tournament setting, imagine like, imagine your Dimension Police deck. You fell in love with this clan because of its, of its mechas, because you love mecha shows, you love Gundam, stuff like that. And then you play, and then zazan comes out, and then you play this little blue thing, and oh my God, I can't believe that you have to include this little thing in every deck. That's the big problem. Taking away clan, taking away deck diversity is a big problem, I think. And uh, one example I want to talk about is in Magic the Gathering, they released a brand new mechanic called Companions. Now, Companions break another rule of Magic the Gathering in that they start in the sideboard and not in your hand, but they're always going to be part of your hand if your deck meets that condition. Uh, that's essentially what it does, and it breaks the rule in the same way that Zazan does because, well, if you're not playing a companion, your deck is pretty much at a disadvantage because companions are that strong. It's the same way with Zazan. If you're not playing Zazan, if you're not playing the vanilla engine, you're not abusing the fact that you can have a generation break one early, then your deck is a lot weaker than the opposing decks, than the opposing Zazan deck. So, yeah, you're pretty much just forced to play Zazan. And I think this is why Booster Road really do need to ban Zazan, or at least just maybe errata it to make it unplayable. I'll be fine with that too. I love premium. Premium is a really fun format for me. Like, I don't play it that often, but when I play it, I usually end up having fun, even through all the nonsense that some clans can do, but I don't want Zazan's nonsense to be part of premium. It's not fun, it's not challenging, it's not rewarding. I want to enjoy this game, I want to love it. Like, I want to keep playing it, I want people to enjoy it and love it too. Uh, so yeah, Bushiro, please do the right thing. 
save premium, save the game we all love, and please ban this little blue boy. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and comment down below. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any new uploads. Thank you all for watching. This is Toyo from Hogogo Car Time. See you next time. Bye-bye.